usually when I do reviews, I'm genuinely guarded about throwing too many superlatives around. And this is because there's too many reviewers on YouTube that rev up products no matter their price or performance. And I'm sorry, but it ain't washing with me. You just think, this is a total load of over-egged up bollocks. Well, I do anyway. More eggs than Edwina curry. But it's not as if I've got any worries about this in this film because of what galaxy this DCS Bartok is in compared to mere mortal hi-fi. It's probably one of the hottest hi-fi products around at the moment. So why don't we wax lyrical about some of the Bartok's initial impressions to get some of these out of the way? This is also for Mr. Matilla of Finland who posted to my written article on Facebook. Too much praise to be taken seriously. Well, Mr. Matilla of Finland, it's just awe-inspiring. It's different class. It's emotionally involving to the nth degree. It reaches parts that other hi-fi can't reach. Sorry, Heineken. It's it's just awesome. Okay, so we've done some of the superlatives. What actually is the Bartok? Well, it's an ultra premium upsampling digital to analog converter which you can spec with a headphone amp or without a headphone amp. But it's also a preamp too with a network streaming card and it's also rune capable. But this is not just any ordinary DAC. This is the exquisitely real and detailed DCS Bartok. God, I'm really going for it in the brand references in this film, but to be fair, the Bartok deserves it. Also important to say that DCS don't use any components they don't design themselves. No off-the-shelf DAC chips, but their own proprietary ring DAC technology, which means using field programmable gate array chips for conversion and filtering needs. I visited DCS's premises near Cambridge, and they are at the forefront of DAC technology. They were at the helm of developing high res in the 90s, they used to make electronic components for fighter aircraft. The overall huge impression is of a technology company that happens to be in the audiophile market. This isn't a cheap headphone amp and DAC at £10,000 for the standard version or 12500 with the headphone amplifier, but it's actually DCS's entry-level model. However, it does share circuit topology with the higher spec Rossini DAC by using a similar control board. And now in the Bartok, this board has to be split into two levels to fit the case. And on this case, the luxury is amazing. Each panel on all sides is milled aluminium, so too the feet and the volume knob. All aluminium parts are bead blasted, which are then anodized. At the back, you've got the usual suite of digital inputs in the form of balanced XLR connections, coaxial BNC, coaxial RCA and Toslink or optical, as well as an Ethernet digital input to receive music from your NAS on the network or Rune server or for internet radio purposes, and a USB input from your digital source and another from your USB flash drive. Outputs wise you've got the normal RCA outputs and balanced XLR connections to your preamp or power amps. At the front you've got a balanced XLR headphone socket and a quarter inch unbalanced jack. No surprise to say that the Bartok is compatible with all the main streaming services Spotify, Quobuzz, Tidal. It's also got a great app called Mosaic which came out earlier in the year which is no slouch. You can use Spotify, but only via the Spotify Connect app. You can also use AirPlay with Apple devices. Format-wise, the Bartok deals with DSD64, 128. It unfolds MQA fully and will play PCM music files up to 384 kHz. You've got four filters with DSD content, 
or if upsampling using the DSD upsampling setting, and six filters with PCM. I found them all quite subtle, and it's more of a case of what music you listen to and your personal preferences as to what you'll find sounds best. Because the DAC is FPGA based, in other simpler words being programmable, sonic performance can change via updates as new features are added. After you've listened to the DCS bar top for a couple of weeks, you can't really describe it as having particular standout traits because it just has so many. Initially, I used some Hi-Fi Man HE1000 version 2s as well as my Cyrus and PMC system, which are both more than good enough to get an idea of what the bar top can do. I've also had DACs like the Chord Qtis, the Chord Hugo TZ2, Chord Hugo M Scaler, MyTech Brooklyn, PS Audio Direct Stream DAC. So I've got plenty of comparisons to make and references as regards to this sound test. The first thing that is so obvious when you turn the Bartok on is high frequency sitting detached in space and air. It's so pleasing. Bass is very harmonically accurate. It's thick, it's fast, and soundstage is extremely wide. Resolution wise, it's astounding. And there's an elevation in layering to the lesser DACs I mentioned, save for the Dave DAC from Chord. It's extremely neutral that doesn't favour one particular type of music, so you can buy it for everything. There's no downsides at all, and in fact, this DAC has no disadvantages insofar as its capabilities. Over the Dave, it has slightly thicker tone. It adds meat to the bones of the Dave's Analytica. The Dave doesn't have the same rounded realistic presentation to the Bartok. You could argue perhaps that the Chord Dave gets more out of the recording, but it's doing so at a little bit of the expense of tonality. What I would say is that these differences are actually quite nuanced and perhaps small so it's going to be a lot down to what you prefer in the sonic qualities of these two different types of DACs. They're both very accomplished in their own right and obviously a lot is going to be down to system integration as well. As to which is actually more musical, I think the bar top because it establishes detail retrieval, dynamics and tone in the same breath and that whilst it may sound strange to say this, is actually quite rare in a DAC. This is because a DAC tends to be detailed and raw sounding or tonally very good, but too smooth and less detailed. I'd definitely say that the DCS Bartok is much more rounded than a Chord Hugo TT2 and M Scaler combination and more detailed too. The DAC section of the DCS Bartol is clearly what you buy this unit for. Its headphone credentials are good, but obviously most of the design of this unit has gone into the DAC and the reputation of DCS as being stalwarts and behemoths in DAC development. If you use the Bartol with great headphones, it makes a case for being all you need as opposed to spending much more on two channel hi-fi you could reduce your box count down, put your money into a simple set of headphones and the Bartok and get as good a sound as spending more on hi-fi and having many more boxes and speakers around your living room. Then perhaps use the rest of the money 
on a convenience system, maybe something like a name muso for less serious listening. I've got to say, this is something that I could easily do to keep the box count down and benefit from a simple system that just sounds awesome. So as I said in my written article, no matter how many superlatives you throw at this Bartok, much to the dismay of Mr. Matilla, you simply can't do it justice. Reviewing products as good as this is a very worthy reason why I do this. And to DCS, please don't stop.